Here we go, first pull. Nothing. It's okay, second pull. A rank chest. Ooh, a C2. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have finally gotten Sylvester to level 50 after 15,000 ruby worth of pulls. Okay, 15,000 rubies. And what you just saw before this was actually my second pull, okay? During my second pull, I actually got two copies and I was super thrilled. Okay, so we're gonna just take a look, quick look at Sylvester's skills. From what I read, he is crazy OP. So for his passive, he has a marker nullification, which means Colt and Lubu's passives are not gonna work on him. He also nullifies piercing damage, which is similar to Colt and also Tio. He also ignores enemy's defense when using skill, which means he will hit pretty hard. And uh, he has Berserk for 7 turns. So Berserk, as we all know from Brands and Branzel, basically is when you so live on 1 HP, and then uh, you become immune to deep immune to deep you become immune to debuffs, you remove debuff on you, and also for Sylvester's case, increases debuff success rate for by 30% for all magic types for 7 turns. Okay, this is insane. Really insane. Not sure if he stacks with Kirill though, because if he does, then death magic maybe. Death magic fireball. So for the first skill. Agony of Condemption, he inflicts 80% magic damage on all enemies 3 times. Always critical. Okay, so this this move is gonna hurt because it's always critical and he also ignores defense already. And he also has a high chance to burn and he also launches chain attack when he kills a, a target. Okay, so what does chain attack mean? Chain attack basically means it allows for one more extra attack. So he will use um, Agony of Condemption again. Okay, when when one of the opponent dies. Next we have Dark Strike. So basically for Dark Strike, he inflicts 100% magic damage 2 times. Increased cooldown and also has high chance to burn. So both his skills are burn uh, intensive, intense. Dark Purification. Inflicts in 100%, 100% 3 times on 4 enemies. Amplifies burn effect 2 times. Okay. Amplifies burn. I wonder what that means. Also, he decreases awakening charge by fixed amount. That's very good because a lot of awakened passes around these days in arena. Uh, and he also resets his awakened skill. Like what? <laughs> Basically, he can continuously also uh, amplify burn and also reduce target charge awakening gauge. I mean, pretty sounds pretty much like Lupu actually, but. You know, it's, it's an awakened skill, so just pretty OP to me. For his exclusive item, he has two stages that are very useful. So one is, for the first one, it actually decreases the awakening, required awakening gauge. So you can use, you can spam that awakening skill more, which is um as if it's not strong enough. Second one is his skill cooldown. His skill cooldowns are pretty short if I'm not wrong, but... Further, my further t negative twenty percent. Okay, and then he has the last one. It basically, for dark strike, it has a priority effect. Okay, so priority effect, which means before he activates the skill, uh, he will already remove three turns on the opponent. So I think this is very effective against Tio, cause he will already remove Tio's shield. Then he does his attack. Okay, so this is a very important uh, exclusive item if you want to be able to deal with Tio better. Okay, and Dark Strike is uh, this attack. Okay, so I think he is able to reduce three turns of the whole opponent team already immediately. And do note that none of his skills pierce. Okay, which means. He will be able to do uh, damage to other Sylvester's and also to other Tios and Colts if they are still around. Okay. So this skill will actually be blocked by Jave. 
those uh, awakened those jays with awakened passes up. Okay, but of course Sylvester has his way because he actually helps he is able to decrease awakening gauge uh, of Jave as well. So no biggie, I think he's gonna be fine. So let's just take a quick look at him. I'm gonna test him out arena right away. Haven't haven't gone in with him yet. Okay, so this is currently my team. I know there's no debuff hero, debuff resistance hero. Um, I'm really gonna just try my luck with this. I'm not too sure how it will go. We're gonna do five matches. Um, how he's equipped? Double speed, of course. Double HP. Rufo ring with death. I gave him death because he has increased. Uh, cast rate, okay. Speed attack, increase awakening gauge, of course. Cooldown increase because I don't want him to be affected by other Sylvester's. Uh, limit break wise, look at my goal, it's really pathetic. Okay, so increase his accuracy rate, increase his debuff cast rate, and also give him stun resist, okay, just in case. Because I have no other resistance heroes. Okay, so without further ado, let us just go right into it. Oh, I'm not sure how this will turn out. I hope it will be good. Okay, so I'm fighting this guy. That's quite a low speed somehow. Okay, I hope Sylvester puts in work. Okay, hitting Liu Bu first. That would be great, because Liu Bu is not going to take anything. Crimson Gale Slam, of course. I think maybe Leto has to go on Sylvester. But Sylvester should have a good Leto raid, but I don't think he has any slot available for Leto in a, also. Okay, Agony of Condemnation. Okay, I think he burned, but Amelia somehow got her awakened passive up as well, so it cured the team, unfortunately. But no problem. As you can see, with his exclusive item and the awakening uh, charge speed jewel, his awakened skill comes up almost immediately, just after one skill. And he's not taking any form of damage. Okay, my ace is gonna die. And my Tio is gonna die. Oh boy. Okay, so that is a lot of damage Sylvester is taking, but I think he's triggered his Berserk. So here is his 7 turn Berserk, and let's see how that goes. I'll be very honest here, I've been very, having a really really tough week with Arena for the past whole week, and to the point whereby I felt that, you know, I just wanted to give up on Arena for for a while, um, get my equipment proper, properly up and tackle Arena again. Okay, so I re I've been really trying and I only made it to Grand uh, um, two days ago and I didn't really want to touch that. Okay, so my Sylvester is not moving too much because I think Ribu has the greatest lethal currently. But he is definitely not taking any damage and he has yeah, he is doing well. Okay, so reflect is uh, fine for him because he has his burst up, so he can tank reflect. Definitely for seven whole turns. Oh, he's dead. Said that too soon. 
Uh, now we're gonna go into this again. Hit this. Okay. Okay. Phew. Thank goodness that happened. Okay, so we're done with match 1. Let's see how well we can do for these 5 matches. So I think Aces Blossom Strike during the cooldown increase is uh, not going to be very useful from now because Sylvester himself also does cooldown increase which means people are going to be more uh, wary of cooldown increases. So I'm glad my Kyo isn't blinded. But my Sylvester is really not moving at, the, at this point. Sylvester, move! This is your video. Libu is putting in a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And Sylvester still not taking any damage. The enemy still looks really uh, properly put together. Okay, the Amelia is down. Okay, Tio is down. So this part is where things are going to change. Cult, cult is gone. I'm so nervous. <laughs> really. <laughs> okay, I think we got this. Okay, we got this. Not too bad, but I think Sylvester could have done a little bit more. But he did something, which is great. Okay, so that was the second match. So we're going on to the third match now. Okay, I see a battery. So the opponent is using the team that was the, 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 the top meta, the top tier team, the one that doesn't use Amelia. Um, let's see how this goes. Okay, so battery goes. Battery probably has a cooldown immunity jewel or something. I don't understand why Ace loves to go, go hit Lubu, you know, for some reason. Holy sh... Paralyzed. Mm, did not see that coming at all. But it's fine, he's going to remove his debuff. He's going to cleanse himself, I think, once he gets his berserk up. Which I'm not sure how long that would take, but we will see how it goes. Uh, hopefully we would yeah okay. We will do something. Field 
I'm gonna consider doing a live stream tomorrow night, so do come back tomorrow night for me. I mean, uh, so do come back about uh, 20 hours. 20 hours after this video has been uploaded. I mean, I will put a notice in my channel, so channel header. So do check it out. Uh, I would love to do more runs with Sylvester even though I have been doing a lot a lot of arena and I'm on the brink of going below 50% win rate but I think I'm climbing back up so that's great so here's awaken skill gonna do quite a lot of damage kills Teal great I think Teal is no longer the major threat Or rather, I think everything is pretty balanced right now. Tio is not a very big threat because of Jave and definitely with Sylvester. Uh, it makes work a lot easier. And Tio also kills Jave quite easily. So, uh, there we go. And on another note, um, looking at Sylvester, I have really, really high hopes and high expectations for Rin, Awakened Rin. I think the magic meta may just be coming back. Okay, so so um, do start collecting and preparing all your Dragon Speed books. I think they're gonna be they're gonna come in handy very, very soon. I think with, um, I'm hoping that she doesn't get, battery here doesn't get to use her awakened skill and eliminate either one because I think both are super important so I hope Sylvester moves, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh dear. <laughs> Okay, I'm fine with that. Living on 1 HP, there we have Sylvester. Sylvester. I had a random thought today, I was thinking uh, all the Dark Knights seem to be named after some sort of metal. Cult seems to be a corrupted version of gold, somehow. But I know what cult means. I cult cult itself has a meaning. I know. Okay, so this is our fourth match. As usual, okay, no. Um, I was gonna say as usual, my Jeff is stunned, but okay, he got his awakened uh, skill passive up quickly. Once again, once again, I hope Sylvester moves. So Lupu putting in a lot a lot of work. Lupu and Ace is the the combo that you need to actually uh, kill a Jave. Honestly. Lupu with Ace deals insane damage and of course here we have Wild Fury killing Jave just a while ago. There we have his awakened skill again, decreases opponent's uh, awakened charge bar. Oh, there's death. This Teal has death. This is gonna be scary. I'm hoping my Sylvester gets to Berserk ASAP. So that he can cleanse the death. Okay, he's down to Berserk. He can cleanse the death. Yes, he did it.
Things are looking pretty good, I would say. I hope Sylvester uses one move. No. Okay, Teal didn't get his block up. So as you can see, I don't think the burn is a huge threat at all because I haven't seen uh, any one of my opponent's team die to burn or get burned. And as you can see, the priority always goes to the Hurricane skill when it's charged. So I haven't seen Sylvester use both his skills at the bottom. Right, I totally haven't seen uh, one of the skills at all. But I guess it's fine because his awakened skill is gonna be super useful if he keeps spamming it. Also, I just wanna say. Um, hopefully in the near future we will see a variety of teams because I mean they recently changed the unequipping system, unequipping cost. So uh, hopefully we we'll get to see quite a number of uh, varied teams in arena and not just this uh, common setup because people finally have the resource to you know shift around their teams to test around different units and see how it goes. Is that a level 42? I think I saw a level 42 Sylvester, okay Okay So let's see how um, How it is to try to get rid of a Sylvester in arena Okay. So the burn is actually in, in place. My Jeff is dead. Hoping I can win this. My Sylvester is still fine. Just has to see how he can release a uh, reduce. I mean, the three turn. Okay, so now he's on burst up, which means reflex is not gonna affect him. Only thing that can kill him now is by reducing turns. This animation is so cool. So, so cool. Okay, so this is a... Uh, oh, does this reduce the turn? No, it is not this one. Whoa, actually that... His decreased awakening charge is almost the whole bar. Do you see that? You can do a rewind and check it out. The opponent reduced the whole bar, oh, but it charged up very quickly. So 5 wins is really amazing. Uh, I think I'll probably try to aim for 5,000 when we do a live stream. Um, I think it's really possible. Maybe not for legend, but... Yeah, maybe not for legend, but definitely possible and I hope you guys have seen what Sylvester can do at level 50 
Uh, maybe it, it wasn't so obvious to see his priority effect coming into play. Um, but I think it did happen, especially in the last match against the other Sylvester. Okay, that's why I could uh, kill him much at a much quicker rate. Yeah. So all the best to you in getting your Sylvester and leave in the comments below what you think of Sylvester and tell me what you think about the arena these days. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.